So um, in terms of managing your property, number one, make sure you have a very, very thorough application. And we have a very good one on the premium membership section of this website. You'll want to check, that, check out premium membership if you're interested in uh, learning more about that, as well as a good lease, which we also have in that section. Uh, you want to make sure that you have proper disclosures. So your state or locality may have things like, oh, well, federally we have lead paint disclosure if the house is over under a certain age. Then you may have radon disclosures or um, um, Megan's Law uh, or uh, sex offenders, whatever the disclosure. Just make sure you know what those disclosures are. And I can tell you from experience, having done a lot of evictions early in my career, is that you serve early. So if the tenant is past the fifth or tenth of the month, you serve a, a notice of non-payment. And then when that notice is up, depending on what is in your state, three days, five days, seven days, then you start the eviction process immediately. Now, in the meantime, if they're saying, oh, the money's just around the corner, I have some of it, um, my dog ate it, whatever, you can be nice and listen to their story and you can work with them, but never stop the ball from rolling. Because what happens is, is landlords after the 10th or so when they don't receive the rent, then they start listening to the stories and then the stories become more stories. And then by the time you're into the next month or the third month, you realize, you know, these people are never coming up with the money. Then you start the eviction and you're way behind the eight ball in terms of the legal process. So serve early. You could be nice. You can listen to the story, but always get the legal process rolling early not later. I can tell you from personal experience, it's a no-no to wait. Serve early.